We belong at St. Marcellinus because we're the spirit. Okay. We belong at St. Marcellinus because we have God present in our lives. It, this school incorporates everything that I believe in, like my faith. Um, the people are just so kind, the teachers are so welcoming, and I just feel like we are one community, and that's what I believe, and that's why I feel like I belong here. Welcome to St. Marcellinus. I'm Mr. Byrne, the chaplain. Uh, I've been privileged to be at this school since its inception. And I just want to let the whole school, the grade eight students especially, know that you're welcome in this place. Uh, St. Marcellinus High School is uh, a Catholic school. And uh, what happens is we model everything that we do in our school on our Lord Jesus Christ and uh, his Holy Mother who guides us, who gives us the inspiration in which to succeed. So often you, when you look at a school, you might look at it as just a building, but I look at St. Marcellinus more as a plant, that it continues to grow and evolve. What do we grow and evolve at? Well, we grow with our spirituality in order to serve the poor, to work with your character, to build it in a manner in which you'll succeed in life. So often in our lives, we live in a secular world that says you have to believe in me, myself, and I. But at St. Marcellinus, we always care about the other. We use it as an opportunity to look and serve those who are most vulnerable in our community and in our world. So here at St. Marcellinus, I want you to know that you belong here. There's a place here for you, a place in my office that is always open for parents to take advantage of all the opportunities that chaplaincy offers. Peace be with you and God bless you. And remember, you belong at St. Marcellinus. Hi, and welcome to our virtual grade nine information session. My name is Anibal Rossi, and I'm the principal here at St. Marcellinus Secondary School. As you watch this afternoon's presentation, you'll get a sense of what the school has to offer your child. More, important, more importantly, I believe you'll get a sense of how your child will be able to lead and belong here. Our school has been blessed with hardworking, dedicated teaching staff, a responsive support team that lead numerous co-curricular opportunities for your children. When you choose St. Marcellina Secondary School, you're choosing to be a part of a family. As with any family, your role is important. You will grow academically, socially, emotionally, and within your faith. Just as Jesus welcomed his disciples to the table, we are welcoming you here at St. Marcellina Secondary School. This is definitely a place where you will belong. Hey future St. Marcellina students, my name is William Lee. And I'm Kayla D'Souza, and we are Prime Minister and Deputy Prime Minister of St. Marcellina Student Council. We know how difficult it is to transition from grade eight to high school. Trust me, we have been there. It's a bigger school, way more people, and the expectations can seem overwhelming. Having the ability to join many different clubs such as student council, sports teams, spirit media, or science health clubs makes transitioning to high school much more fun and enjoyable. If you can think of the club, we have it. Get ready for many fun events at our school such as semi-formal, spirit week, and many other events that create a vibrant atmosphere in our school. We also have a community of teachers who care for you and always want the best. Remember to stay up to date with our school Twitter and Instagram pages for upcoming events and news. St. Marcellinus is a community with some of the most amazing people where you're going to meet some of your closest friends. We can't wait to see you here next year, St. Marcellinus. And always remember the spirit way. Welcome Grade Eights. It is my pleasure to introduce you to the Religion Program at St. Marcellinus. Each year you will have the opportunity to engage in a religion course and eventually graduate with four religion credits. In addition to our religion courses, we offer philosophy, leadership, social justice, parenting, and family studies. 
Our classes are open and inclusive environments that provide you with the opportunity to develop relationships, have open discussions, become vibrant leaders, and refine your thinking and inquiry skills. Our religion classes, in partnership with Chaplaincy, provide you with meaningful experiences that allow you to give back to your community. You will be introduced to our dynamic department, not only in the classroom, but also by getting involved in our school community. Ms. Vena asked her students to tell the grade eights about grade nine religion. Um, grade nine religion, it's really fun. Um, it's easy, don't procrastinate. Uh, there's a lot of open discussions and to overall have a great time. Grade nine religion is very engaging because it's an open and live class. You should make friends with people around you so you can, like during discussions, you guys can depend on each other, help each other with work, stuff like that. Grade nine religion with Ms. Vanna is amazing. It's a very fun and safe environment. And just know if you need support with anything, Ms. Van is always here. I personally here. really like religion class. I like that we get to talk about like important things that are happening in our day society. And I enjoy the topics that we learn. And I feel like I've learned many more things. See you next year! Each and every year, students at St. Marcellinus participate in Spirit Athletics, and their success continues to be impressive, both as students and athletes. Our athletic program is an integral part of St. Marcellinus, teaching student-athletes invaluable lessons about teamwork, time management, persistence, and competition. Our program allows you to develop physically, mentally, socially, and emotionally as you represent our school on and off the field. You grow mature and work hard to be the best teammate you can, while creating lifelong memories with teammates who often remain friends for life. Helping our athletes to reach their potential are some of St. Marcellinus' best assets, our coaches. More often than not, they are drawn from the ranks of our faculty and have a deep understanding of the personalities and abilities of the student athletes on their teams. We strive to find the right balance of academics, exercise, and personal growth for everyone by offering a variety of sports at many different levels. All student athletes find a sport they can be successful in. It is with great pride and pleasure that here at St. Marcellinus, we work to enrich the athletic lives of all our student athletes.
Hello and welcome Grade 8 students, parents, and community members. On behalf of the St. Marcellinus Guidance Department, we would like to welcome you this evening. We are here to help guide you and provide you with information regarding your transition to high school. We hope you enjoy this presentation and that it helps answer some questions about how Grade 9 will look for your child next year. Our goal at St. Marcellinus is to help make your transition to high school a successful one. As you can see on this slide, the Guidance Department has a Twitter account. Our handle is at Marcy Guidance. Please join us to keep updated with weekly posts about all things guidance related, such as upcoming school deadlines, post-secondary information, scholarship and community service information, etc. Further, you can always view our guidance page on our school website at dpcdsb.org slash Marcel. Now to introduce our guidance and student services team. My name is Ms. Macri and I am the Department Head of Guidance. In high school, when you start grade nine, you will be assigned a guidance counselor. Each counselor takes care of the educational journey and pathway planning for a group of students. This year, I take care of students whose last name begins with the letters A, B, as well as our planning for independent students and our communication students. Ms. Lopak takes care of students whose last names begin with C to DA. Ms. Reznov takes care of students whose last names begin with D apostrophe all the way to KL. Mr. Karapi takes care of students whose last names begin with KN all the way to Q. And Mr. Arsenal takes care of students whose last names begin with R to Z. Another essential member of our guidance team is Mrs. Campbell. She is our guidance secretary and is the lady you will see every day when you come down to visit us in the guidance department. When you get to high school, you will be invited to a guidance Google classroom by one of our counselors, where you will be able to get up-to-date information on all things related to your academics, including information on course selection, summer school, community service opportunities, extracurricular club and sports information. So please remember to accept our Google invite in September. At St. Marcellinus, we have additional members of our staff who are here to assist and support you. Our student success teachers, or better known as our SSTs, Ms. Lopak and Mr. Kennedy, help our students stay on track when they are struggling with their courses. This year, Ms. Lopak works with our grade 9, 11, and 12 students, and Mr. Kennedy works with our grade 10 students. Ms. Simon is our school social worker. Mr. Bordinelli is our child and youth worker, and our school psychological associate is Ms. Shandarina. Our support team is here to help guide you, listen to you, and help support your academic, social, mental, and spiritual journey here at St. Marcellinus. When you begin at St. Marcellinus, if you would like to connect with one of our support workers, please talk to your guidance counselor and we will help facilitate that introduction. Let's talk about high school. What does it all mean? Well, if you have an older brother or sister who has gone through high school, you may have an idea or two of what high school is like from stories you've heard. However, if this is your family's first experience with high school, it might be overwhelming. What does it all mean? Well, bigger school. Our school is more than likely bigger than the elementary school you have come from, so that could be overwhelming. But with that bring many more opportunities for friendships, a lot more students at our school, a lot of opportunities to take part in sports and clubs, you will have a locker where you can keep your school books and some of your belongings. There is a cafeteria where you could order your lunch. Many more subjects to choose from. Many more teachers to get to know. The school day hours are probably different. Our school runs from 8.27 a.m. until 2.30 p.m. We run a semester system, which means you have four subjects per semester. Four subjects from September to January, four subjects from February to June. Exams fall in January for semester one and in June for semester two. You have four periods a day, including a 40 minute lunch. Your classes are 75 minutes in length, which is probably longer than what you're used to. And you do have a uniform that you are responsible to wear every day. Those are some of the differences, but with them bring a lot of exciting new changes. Okay, so uh, we're going to talk about graduation requirements. In order to earn your OSSD, the Ontario Secondary School Diploma, 
you will need to complete the following three requirements. 30 credits, 18 of which are compulsory, and 12 electives. You must pass the OSSLT, which is the Ontario Secondary School Literacy Test, and you will write that in grade 10. In addition to that, you must complete 40 hours of community service. You can begin working on your community service hours after you graduate grade eight. So that is the summer of 2022. So July and August. In grade nine, you will take seven compulsory courses. Remember from the previous slide, those are the courses that you are required to take and you will get to choose one elective. The grade nine compulsory courses include English, math, science, Canadian geography, French, religion, and phys ed. When you are completing your course selection, you will notice that for some of the compulsory courses, there are levels attached, including locally developed. Those course codes end in 1L1. Applied courses, those are courses that end in 1P1 and academic courses, which end in 1D1. The grade nine pro math program is D-streamed math. We will explore levels more in the next slide. After you select your seven compulsory courses, you will then choose one elective. The grade nine elective courses include Introduction to Business, which introduces you to all the different functions of business, such as marketing, accounting, economics, and human resources. Integrated technology, which is a combination of all the technologies we offer, such as robotics, automotive, baking, cosmetology, etc. Instrumental music, we have two, one for beginners and one for students who have experience taking music lessons, whether in school or privately. Drama, which is acting and performing. Visual arts, which has a focus on expressing Aboriginal cultures. This course has an Indigenous focus while teaching the skills of drawing, painting and using various mediums. Learning strategies. If your grade eight teacher recommends you to take the GLE course, the learning strategies, you still choose one other elective as well. If your teacher does not recommend the GLE course, please do not circle. Our learning strategies course is designed for students who have an IEP. One final note regarding elective courses. If you do not choose an art credit in grade nine, you will have to choose an art credit in grade 10 as one art credit is a graduation requirement. So how do you choose what level you should take? In consultation with your grade eight teacher and your families, ask yourself, what kind of learner are you? How do you learn best? For example, students who take locally developed courses tend to be concrete, hands-on learners who benefit from smaller class sizes with frequent review and feedback from teachers. Students who take applied courses tend to be concrete and practical thinkers who learn best through doing and connecting to real life. And students who take academic courses tend to think creatively, enjoy problem solving, like working independently, and are self-motivated. Remember, you do not have to choose all of your courses at the same level. For example, if you struggle a bit with English and would like to take grade nine applied English, but are really strong in geography and science, you could still select applied English and then take academic geography and science. And there is always a way to change levels throughout high school. Our goal in the guidance department at St. Marcellinus is to offer firstly that our grade nine students have a successful transition to high school. And then secondly, to create a pathway plan for each learner to help get them to their post-secondary destination of choice. This is a picture of a grade nine timetable. High school will have two semesters. Each semester has two terms. That's why you see each course written twice. Each semester also has four courses. So this grade nine student has grade nine drama, ADA 101 in period one, 
This is their homeroom period, followed by SNC1P1, that's grade nine applied science. Then in period three, they have grade nine academic geography, CGC1D1, with lunch in the middle of the period. That is called lunch B. Lunches are divided into 3A, 3B, and 3C. So period three is divided into the three lunches. The student ends their day with period four learning strategies class, GLE 101. At the end of semester one in January, the student will write exams and then will begin semester two at the beginning of February with their four new courses. In this student's case, math, phys ed, religion, and English as indicated on the timetable. My Blueprint. To our feeder school students, including St. Gregory, St. Julia, St. Barbara, and St. Veronica, you will be choosing your course selections on both My Blueprint and in the registration package. You will be working with your grade eight teachers while selecting your courses in My Blueprint, and you will be completing the registration package at home. Please be sure you select the same courses when completing both My Blueprint and the registration package. Our guidance department will be presenting to our feeder students in December with more specific, more specific information, so please stay tuned. We will connect with your grade eight teachers and set a date to work on your high school registration. My Blueprint portal opening date will be emailed to your teachers as soon as we know the date. For our Peel families that are not in Dufferin Peel, please become familiar with My Blueprint. Guidance has created a virtual flyer that we will post on our Guidance Twitter feed. Within the flyer, there is a parent guide along with the video and instructions on how to navigate My Blueprint. This flyer will be posted to our Guidance Twitter feed, handle at Marcy Guidance by the end of this month. For more information regarding courses, course codes, and descriptions, please visit our school website, dpcdsb.org slash marcl, and click on the Guidance Courses tab as seen here on the screen. There you will find a wealth of information, including our updated course calendar that shows all the courses available within each of the departments. In the past, we have offered a summer transition program for incoming grade nine students called Get Ready. Information for this program is available in the spring, April and May. Stay tuned and follow us on Twitter at Marcy Guidance or the school Twitter at St. Marcellinus SS for more information. Students need to be registered for this program in advance. The Get Ready program is a transition program that focuses on literacy, numeracy, and effective learning strategies. This program allows our incoming grade nines to establish connections with their new peer group and members of the faculty. It is a free 20 hour program that runs through the end of August. Registration information will be available in the spring of 2022. No late registrations will be accepted, so please keep your eyes out for those deadlines. This brings us to the end of the guidance portion of the presentation. To end, we would like to thank you for taking time to listen to what St. Marcellinus has to offer your child. We are a wonderful school filled with caring adults, from our administration to our teaching staff to our support staff. We will do our best to make sure your son and daughter's time here is a rich one, complete with an excellent education, extracurricular opportunities, surrounded by staff who care and are student focused. So welcome to St. Marcellinus. You belong here. Hi, my name is Maria Bueno and I'm one of the vice principals here at St. Marcellinus. During this video segment, I will be reviewing this year's registration process to our school for incoming grade nine students entering in September of 2022. First, let me begin by outlining the process for grade eight students currently enrolled in a Dufferin Peel feeder school. Our feeder schools to St. Marcellinus include St. Gregory, St. Julia, St. Veronica, and St. Barbara. If your child is already enrolled in one of these feeder schools, they can be directly enrolled into grade nine at St. Marcellinus. The enrollment process will be reviewed by our guidance department in December, when they will be giving virtual presentations to each of our feeder schools to review the registration process for students. Additional information will be shared during that time. 
What is the registration process for any incoming grade nine students who live in the St. Marcellinus boundary and not currently enrolled in a Dufferin Peel Catholic elementary school, including siblings of current Dufferin Peel secondary students? In the next few slides, I will review the registration process for our open access students. Step one is the online registration. Parents or guardians can go to our board website for open registration at www.dpcdsb.org backslash open reg. A link to the online application system will be available from December 1st at 8 o'clock a.m. to December 17th at 5 o'clock p.m. You can create your own registration account and complete and submit your online application form during that time. Step two is the application verification. After you submit your application, the application will be reviewed to re verify that it meets eligibility requirements. For example, ensuring the student resides in the St. Marcellinus boundary. You will then receive an email acknowledging receipt of your application form. After your application is verified, we go to step three, the random selection process. This is an online randomization utility which will generate a list of applicants with assigned numbers. The randomly assigned number determines who is selected based upon the number of spaces available at St. Marcellinus. This will take place on January 12th, 2022. If your application is identified through the random selection process, you will be notified on or before January 14th. Students who are not identified are referred to the designated overflow school, which is at St. Joseph Secondary School. Step four is parent notification. As mentioned, applicants selected through the random selection process will receive an email notification on or before January 14th. At that time, applicants will then be required to submit supporting documentation for registration. What are the supporting documents in order to complete the registration? These include providing proof of home address, which can include providing two of the following, property tax bill, current utility bill, electronic bill, real estate document, or a Government of Canada issued form. Documents also include providing proof of age of your child, which can include birth certificate or passport, as well as providing proof of Canadian citizenship, which can include birth certificate, passport, or permanent resident status. Supporting documentation also includes providing updated immunization records. This would require you to report your child's immunizations to the Region of Peel Public Health online. The link is available on our board website and at that time provide the reference number to St. Marcellinus when registering. Also, you would need to provide proof of English separate school support. This requires the completion of an application for the direction of school support and or a separate school lease agreement all of which are available on our board website at www.dpcdsb.org. Step five is parent submission. All documents will then need to be submitted electronically to the school to our guidance department by emailing marcelguidance at dpcdsb.org by January 21st, 2022. Please note that the school reserves the right to not accept students who do not have complete registration documentation and who do not meet the admission requirements. If everything is successfully submitted and meets admission criteria, congratulations, your child is enrolled. Welcome to St. Marcellinus in September of 2022. We look forward to receiving your applications in December. Again, you can visit our board website at www.dpcdsb.org backslash open reg. The online application form will be available from December 1st at 8 a.m. until December 17th at 5 p.m. Please note that registration for grade 10 to 12 students who are not currently enrolled at St. Marcellinus or for special programs must be completed through the school office at a later date. If you have any questions, please email our school at St. Marcellinus info at dpcdsb.org.